Hello, Dr. Monzo. Good, uh, good morning, sir. This is. Good morning. Uh, thank you. This is uh, Chris. Uh, Chris for Yes, me. yes, yes. I can recognize the voice. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. All right. So I uh, really took some time listening to your presentation uh, mm -hmm. in, in Atlanta, and mm -hmm. uh, I must say. Uh, it was uh, a very uh, impressive uh, uh, presentation, and I think mm -hmm. I, need, uh, I really agree with much of what you said. Mm -hmm. uh, other than that, other than that, does the argument that uh, we? Yeah, oh, 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 sorry, did you say you did you say you agree or that you don't agree with much? No, I agree. I agree. I agree. Okay. Mostly mm -hmm. with what you said, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. I agree okay. mostly with what you said in the presentation. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. but, but the question is, uh, mm -hmm. on the grounds of what you presented, mm -hmm. uh, are you really saying we cannot get in, I mean, we should not go for independence because of that argument? Because, I mean, we are... Uh, uh, a sovereign people, mm -hmm. we have the right to self-determination like mm -hmm. every other group. On the mm -hmm. basis of your argument, are you saying that we cannot go for independence because we don't have a chance with the UN or that we cannot go for independence at all? I, I don't, I don't know what the difference is, uh, Chris, in, in substance. Um, um, I, I suppose the, the, the bottom line is achieving independence, right? Correct. It's not what you want to do or don't want to do. It is what you can obtain. Right. Mm -hmm. And I'm saying that uh, the way uh, my, my reading of the situation as it is right now, and I laid out the grounds for that vision or for that, uh, that perception, uh, is that you are not going to be able to convince anybody in the international community uh, to uh, back us up in... Uh, in an internal uh, uh, negotiation of uh, bringing an end to what the what the, what the entire world recognizes to be uh, one sovereign country. Okay. Now, in spite of our history, in spite of everything, you know that for the international community today, I'm always the international community. That is what that is the United Nations when it comes to matters of uh, recognizing independence of the states and all of that. So uh, when you look at the evolution that led to uh, the grant of uh, self-government to us, uh, getting us to join the Republic, uh, as I, as I argue in that, um, in that, in that, in that address, right. uh, it was in conformity with what the international community uh, practiced at the time. Uh, now, do you do you realistically think that you are going to go to New York and tell someone in the General Assembly, let's open this matter up again? You're going to tell some people at the Security Council of the UN, let's open this matter up. You are going to go to a trusted council that does not even exist anymore and say, let's open this matter up. You are going to go to the International Court of Justice, which decided in the Northern Cameroon's case that... Uh, he doesn't have the capacity to reverse anything that was done by the General Assembly. And he said, let's, 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 let's open this matter up. So, Chris, for me, it's a matter of, um, it's not what we want, it's not what we wish. If you ask me today uh, whether uh, my territory, Southern Cameroon, should be independent or not, what makes you think that I will not say instantly, let's be independent? But I'm looking in terms of what is feasible and what is not. Okay. What is feasible and what is not? So these people who are saying that they are going to get us uh, restore the independence of Southern Cameroons, my question to them has been, how do you propose to do that? How do you propose to do that? And there are just there are just two avenues to this, uh, to to restoration of our independence. Uh, the two avenues. One is that you negotiate uh, a return. Uh, this restoration. Now, who are you going to negotiate with? That's a question. Exactly. So, who are you going to negotiate with? Do you think that you are going to call uh, Mr. Bia around the table internally and say, "Look, Mr. Bia, let's sit down and um, work out the terms for the separation of uh, these two territories that came back, that came together in 1961." 
do you realistically see him or anybody in uh, La Republic sitting down at, around the table and uh, quietly and uh, peacefully and uh, nicely uh, discussing with us for three days, uh, one month, three months or whatever modalities for the separation of this territory? Yeah, but that is the same argument that uh, mm -hmm. uh, people are raising when you champion the cause for a return to a federation uh, because we, you know, like every one of us as does, that uh, Mr. B.A. is not going to sit on any dialogue table with you to talk federation. No, no, it, it's different, uh, Chris. It's called, it, 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 is, it is different in the sense that uh, you can you can exert pressure. Let me put it this way: even the limited gains that have been scored uh, in this since since October, right? Uh, the the concessions that have been made, which some people say are just window dressing and all of that. Okay, let's take them even at that value of window dressing, but there are some concessions. So um, you think even those have been granted because Mr. Bia wanted to grant them? Mr. Bia granted them because he is reacting to pressure coming from the, from our population on the ground. It's not it's not the cyber warriors who are shooting things on the social media. Mr. Bia saw in the past how many months the resolve of our population, as expressed by the fact that they did not send their children back to school, as expressed by the fact that they followed these uh, ghost towns on Mondays and sometimes Tuesdays. And we have internally, in uh, whether I appear on television or I write in newspapers, I have constantly referred to the fact that Bia has uh, caved in, as it were, to the pressure coming from our people. Okay, now, so he can he can he he, he can make concessions, uh, buying to pressure coming from our people, but obviously for him, that cannot go as far as saying. Let's break the country up. Okay, he, he can he can be he can he can he can cow down to pressure and say, okay, you guys finally. I mean, I was not listening before. I didn't know what this thing was. I underestimated it, but now I I understand. Uh, let us go back to uh, an arrangement that would allow, uh, as was initially intended, that we go govern our affairs. Uh, respecting our two, the two heritages we brought into this union. That is feasible. That is politically feasible. Well, it, it, it is, but yeah. uh, nobody really thinks that that can be achieved with the current regime uh, going by its history. Because yeah. you okay, have okay, okay, okay. Let's say then. Okay, uh, uh, Chris, let let us say then. Uh, okay, let let me consider you that. I don't believe. First of all, I don't believe that that is so because we we are we are attributing to this regime. A kind of incapacity to, to, to change. Yes, I agree that the nature of this regime, the nature of this regime, uh, is such that, yes, they, they are slow to change because they simply do not have a culture of negotiating with citizens. They don't believe in that. They don't believe in that. But what I, what, what, what I am, uh, what I'm, I'm, I'm saying is that the events, the events since last October have shown that in spite of that skin that they wear, it is possible, it is possible uh, to, to, to force them to behave differently and to look at things differently. And that we should, therefore, we ought to be mobilizing our forces uh, like one man to say, listen, you guys uh, robbed us of the Federation, the thing for which we, we joined. You robbed us of that in 1972. And as one man, we are going to put pressure on you to make sure that we bring it back. And, and my, my conviction is that that is something that is negotiable, that is something that is obtainable by, by, by discussion, by dialogue. But you, you cannot, by negotiation or dialogue, uh, ex ex expect to get uh, uh, separation or secession or restoration or whatever I want to call it from Mr. Bia. Now, what does that then leave us with? And that is why I keep saying, if we recognize that BIA is not going to grant us, is not going to yield uh, to our separate, going our separate ways, how do we intend to uh, to, to to get there? And, and, uh, and, that will, and that will take me to and that will take me to uh, the, the, this other question because you mentioned the impossibility of uh, 
uh, regaining our independence through the diplomatic way by the United Nations. Now, mm-hmm. uh, look at the Southern Sudans. The Southern Sudans, uh, I really don't have a good history of what their relationship was with, uh, uh, Sudan proud, mm-hmm. proud to independence. Mm-hmm. Now, in spite of that, they were able to fight their way and come out of, uh, of, you, of the Sudan, and they have an independent country. You have, you Why have just you said that today. You have just, okay, you have just said it, uh, Chris. You have just said it. They fought their way. You understand? Yes. They fought their way, Chris, and 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 they fought their way uh, in a period of about thirty years. Right. Okay. Yeah. So what I have been saying to the separatists, and I call them separatists, although I hear, I hear. Uh, uh, I, uh, my, my young brother, uh, Ayub Tabe, um, categorizing them yesterday as nationalists, and the rest of us are supposed to be non-nationalists, I guess. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they, they are separatists. Let them have the, the, um, the, 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 uh, the, 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 the dignity, if you like, the sincerity to admit, admit that. Uh, others are unionists, others are federalists, they are not nationalists, <laughs> I think others are not, they are separatists, they should admit that. Anyway, so, um, and, so what are, you have just, uh, let out the word, uh, Chris. The, uh, taking the example of South Sudan. The South Sudanese, with John Garang and others, they fought a war of liberation of, 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 of South Sudan. That lasted about 30 years, but which ultimately delivered the, the, the goods, right? Yes. Uh-huh. But it took, it took that fighting, it took war, uh, for the international community to be able to say, oh no, all this devastation cannot continue, you guys have to declare a ceasefire, you guys must do this, and that's where the international community comes in increase. This is simple international practice. So is that what you meant when you wrote that it will take war for uh, the southern Cameroons to get independence? It, because you wrote that in the in the initial statement that you sent out that provoked yes. a lot of uh, mm-hmm. I, I did, and that is what I that's that's what I mean. I said is is it, it will take war. And don't take my word for it. In fact, I, I dare I dare those who instead of uh, pilloring me and throwing insults at me the, the best way for them to prove me wrong, Chris, is to deliver us that uh, in, that independence without war. Let them deliver it to you. Let me see how it will happen. Okay, so, so if, if, if on the other hand, if on the other hand they recognize today, in, in the face of the reality which they are trying to run away from now, but if eventually they realize that indeed uh, Simon Muzo has been saying that we cannot get independence by diplomatic channels, they're talking about preventive diplomacy, blah blah blah, and, and so now we recognize that it can only be by war, then they should tell our people, John Garan and others told the people of Southern Sudan, we are going to fight the war of liberation for you now. You guys get ready. Okay, so they should have the guts in that sense to say today, listen, we know Mr. Bia cannot negotiate with us. We know that the international community would not, um, uh, we cannot get independent by diplomacy. So what avenue is left is war. And they don't have the courage to tell our people. And let, and let the, don't mm-hmm. you think they are saying that uh, uh, one way or other when they say, hey, we have all options on the table? Yeah, but why, why put it in those terms, uh, Chris? We've got this to the point where they should, they, they can't say, they can't say all options at the table. What are the all options? Especially when you see, uh, remember that I got, I got all this, uh, uh stinging from Tassang and others. Uh, if you read my, um, the, the, uh, uh, ADF, uh, press release number three again, I, I did not even, I did not spell out modalities for dialogue. I did not say who was going to dialogue with whom. I did not say who was going to represent whom at the dialogue. I did not say what were going to be the subject on the table of the dialogue. I did not say what was the expected outcome of the dialogue. But all I, all, 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 no, excuse me. All, all I, all I did was, uh, bring home uh, the, the, the fact that we, uh, this, this situation in Cameroon today requires that we have a dialogue and that our people can pressurize uh, the, the establishment in Yaoundé uh, to have that dialogue and for this we begin with uh, parliamentarians who whether we like it or not are, are, are institutional uh, you know, leaders to approach Mr. Bia now so when you say that all options are on the table what are the options? Including self-defense, the armed struggle that you're talking about 
Yeah, but exactly. But what I'm saying, when, I, when you say all options are on the table, now, okay, I'm struggling is one of them. The others are what? And dialogue is one of them, I guess. Dialogue, exactly. Dialogue is one of them. And uh, uh, is there any other? I, I really don't know. Maybe the leaders will be in the better place to say. Uh, okay, but let us say then that for now, the, the two that we're able to name are, are, are struggle and, and dialogue. Now, um, uh, the reaction of uh, Skakuf and others uh, to my, uh, to our dialogue initiative has been to say, listen, there is, that's out of the question. We are not going to dialogue. There is blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you take dialogue off the table. What is left? Well, but, uh, doctor. No, 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 Chris, no, just answer me. It's very simple. You take dialogue off the table. There are only two, two options on the table. You take dialogue off, Chris. What is left? The military option, of course. Exactly, exactly. Okay, so if, if that is what it is, then why don't you tell the people um, everything else is off. It is now time for us to. We're, we're opting for the military. We're taking the military option. Why? Why, why, are they finding, why, why are they finding it so difficult? Why are they finding it so? Why are they finding it so difficult to say I, so? I think before they get there, they have mm-hmm. one more option, which I believe you will agree uh, on that option. And that option would be if La Republic and people like you who are advocating for a return to federation instead of a straight independence mm-hmm. if you if if both parties would agree a simple referendum just like you were suggesting in your in your in your in your presentation who tells the leadership that some people that they have to dictate for people so mm-hmm. so the recourse would be why don't we just conduct a referendum yeah, but 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 even even but even the deci- even the decision, uh, Chris. Uh, when you have a, a situation where um, the, uh, the the the, the, the se- separation is on the table on one side, and that side is it's uh, it's, uh, in, it's represented by say uh, scaffold and separatists. Now and then the other side is uh, u- union that will be represented by the regime in Yaoundé and its uh, supporters. Now, uh, they start from those two extremes, uh, Chris. Uh, on the one, one extreme is we are leaving. The other extreme is we are not letting you go. Now, if you are going to put the matter to, to, to referendum, uh, it, 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 the two, the two parties have to, 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 to sit down and discuss and, 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 and come to the conclusion that they, they need a referendum. Well, do, they, do, do you really need the two so, parties? You need a, a neutral body. The EU can. No, but, and, and the neutral body. The neutral body. The, no, the neutral body, Chris. The way uh, uh, again, I don't know. I don't know why we are <laughs> discussing here as if Southern Cameroon was living in a world of its own, Chris. The world in which we live today. You are not going to get what you call a neutral body come into a country that is recognized to be to, to today to be a sovereign state and say that we, a neutral body, are coming into your territory to organize a referendum. Chris, it does not happen that way. But doctor, don't you remember that the same neutral body came to the camera to Cameroon and presented two maps? Well, again, again, Chris. Again, this is this is my this is my um, uh, this is my how should I call it now? Impatience or whatever with these separatists. They, they cook up so many things. There are so many. It's like almost a kind of four one nine to use the expression. They cook <laughs> up so many so many false things, Chris, and throw them at our population and create the illusion. That uh, the situation is going to be resolved from from outside. That that story that that story about about two maps. They say that uh, Ban Ki Moon, uh, the former Secretary General, came to I don't know in what event and presented two maps. Blah blah blah. Look. No, it wasn't Ban Ki Moon. It was a representative. Oh. Okay, all right, and that presented two maps. Now the, the two maps were were about what and what did the two maps do? What did the two maps say? It was a way of telling La Republique uh, du Cameroon, the, 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 the leader, the president, that, uh, listen, you have two sovereign states that make up this nation. And no, 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 Chris, no, no, Chris, Chris, there is nobody in the international community, especially someone whom, whom, whom you, you purport was representing the UN or, or its secretary general, 
who would come to to a sovereign for, for the international community Chris there is only one sovereign state Cameroon so doctor okay. are you saying that those pictures we see in the presidency with those two dele- with that delegation and the president with the two photographs frame that they are photoshop or what well i don't know i don't even know what what you are referring to i've never seen them i've heard i've read about them i've never seen them so i don't even know i don't have specific details about what we're describing there but what i'm telling you is that uh, today, as we speak, uh, in the United Nations, uh, the, there is a, a member state uh, called uh, Republic of Cameroon, if you like, Cameroon. Uh, that member state is there with a permanent seat, um, with, a, with a seat, uh, uh, with a permanent representative, uh, if you like, ambassador to United Nations in, in, in New York. And uh, that is the, the, the entity that... Um, the international community is, is dealing with uh, the African Union. That is the entity that is sitting uh, as a member of the African Union. Uh, you go to ECAS, the Central African uh, sub, sub, uh, uh, sub, sub, sub regional organization. That is the entity that is a member. So I don't know where this thing comes from in terms of uh, Cameroon. We have two sovereign states and all of that. We don't. So, doctor, uh, 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 listening to you, you don't mm-hmm. appear to give uh, the independent uh, 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 movement a chance. So, if I may ask, mm-hmm. what if this is hypothetical, what would you do? What would you request to? Should the regime, the BR regime, say uh, we're not having federation on the table? We have said it. We're not having it. What, right. what, what would you? What would be your next step? Exactly, uh, uh, Chris. That would be that would be a position of last resort. Okay. You understand? Yes, that would be a position of resort. If of last resort, if if you were to tell me, if you were to tell me today that we have exhausted uh, the possibility of of return to federation by dialogue because the regime in Yaoundé says that this is a no go. Okay, that at that point. You are put in a situation where the choice is between uh, remaining dominated and marginalized uh, in the present country forever and leaving the present arrangement. And I would say that my option would be in favor of leaving the present arrangement. But at the same time, I would then have to recognize that the other side is not going to allow me leave just like that, pack your bags and cross the Mongo and go. No, the other side is going to put up a resistance to my leaving. You understand? Right. And that therefore I have to be prepared uh, to, to, to fight to leave. And, and that will, will eventually take us in, exactly into the, the, the South Sudan situation that you mentioned. If you start your war of liberation today in the face of uh, resistance by uh, by by the the regime in Yaoundé, uh, it may take you uh, five years, uh, ten years, fifteen years, thirty years to liberate yourself, or perhaps never, not not, not even at all, because we have situations, uh, um, uh, Chris, where uh, uh, ca- ca- some uh, in some countries, uh, liberation movements have been fighting to liberate their territory for more than uh, thirty five years, and they still haven't gotten there, but are continuing. All right, you understand. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So naturally, you are not opposed to independence. Your problem right now is probably with the timing, or what? No, I am not. That's, that's my, my my approach is more nuanced than that. It is not okay. a matter of being it's not a matter of being opposed or not opposed to independence. For me, it begins from is independence necessary at this stage? Okay. And the reason I say is independence necessary at this stage is that I personally don't believe that. Uh, our people made a wrong choice uh, when in 1961 uh, faced with choosing between independence by joining Nigeria and independence by joining La Republic they chose to join La Republic right yeah. and that and that and that that they did not make that choice uh, without uh, someone spelling out to them exactly what the implications of the choice would be it was it was spelled out to them, and uh, they were told you will be going into a union in the form of a federation. 
And in that union, you will maintain your own way of running a justice system, your own way of education, your own way of policing, etc., etc. These were specifics. You understand? Right. Uh, and um, so where the thing broke, and, and, and if, that, if that had continued, if that had been res- respected, then I would be quite happy to be in a country today where uh, you have two systems of education, uh, two systems of justice, and citizens are able to choose whether they send their children to school in one, ses- one system or the other. Okay? So I, would, I, I fundamentally would have no, no, no problem, no difficulty with that. Where it broke down, where it broke down is the fact that in 1972, uh, that foundation on which uh, unification was built was, 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 was eroded, was taken off. So today, if you, if you tell me that it is possible that we bring back that foundation, I will say, well, bring it back and let's continue, uh, as, uh, as if, uh, there hadn't been any interruption. Let's, let, let's take it off from there, and I'll be quite happy to live in that federal arrangement. Okay, uh, but but uh, now, so so for me, it's the question is: is independence necessary? If we can get back to reunification, I mean, to a federation, independence is not a necessity. However, if you if you tell me on the other hand that the choice is between going for independence and remaining forever subjugated and uh, dominated and marginalized, then I'll say, okay. Listen, guys, let's go for independence. And, uh, okay? And, uh, and, and, but knowing that that independence, because of the resistance from the other side, is not going to come, it's not going to come uh, like, uh, you see, you're, you're sending delegations to, to New York to go and negotiate and bring back your independence. It will not happen. We have to be prepared then to fight a war of liberation, and we should be able to tell our people that that is, that is the, that is the hard reality. Well, most of the people, especially back home, and of course in the diaspora, would say, of course, we have arrived at that point where we have to start seeking this independence because, doctor, you have been in the middle of this from uh, from the from from the late eighties up to mm-hmm. today, and mm-hmm. you, and you know uh, how many times that uh, we protested, we had conferences, you heard the tripartite in Yaoundé, and you championed mm-hmm. the cause for mm-hmm. uh, a return to. The system that uh, best uh, satisfy our people. I mean, mm-hmm. from 1991, we are in 2017, and nothing that you laid yeah, out, tripartite, was yes. uh, has been implemented. Now, yes, I, let's mm-hmm. pass. Yeah, well, first fact to today: mm-hmm. the lawyers started the strike, teachers mm-hmm. came in, they mm-hmm. made petitions, they asked for reforms, and mm-hmm. instead of giving them those things. They have given them an airport in Bermuda that doesn't function, that will not work. They've mm-hmm. created a bilingualism, a bilingualism commission that is, whoever knows what that means. Mm-hmm. And uh, above all, they have now said, there is no federation on the table, we're not entertaining anything federation. So, mm-hmm. people who are going in for independence are like, we have come to the end. When they say there is no federation on the table, we cannot discuss it. It means we mm-hmm. have no option than to resort to asking for our full autonomy. Don't you see mm-hmm. that it is, it is the right time to do so? Well, um, I think the picture that you point that you point that you paint there, it's something of a caricature. Uh, because you see, we don't we don't seem to want to realize that even in Cameroon with this uh, a, a, a dictatorial regime. Things, things are, 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 things are moving. Things are changing. Uh, circumstances are changing. There is a certain, there is, there is a responsiveness to national opinion, uh, which has been slow in Cameroon because of this, as I say, this culture of dictatorship. But even that regime is beginning to recognize that we are no longer in the day where you will have that full-blooded. Uh, dictatorship and get away with it. But they haven't done so, anything that proves no, that. No, they haven't, done, they haven't done No, no they, they cannot say they haven't done anything. You cannot say they haven't done anything. They have done things which they thought would be enough uh, to, as, 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 as in the past, uh, simply uh, take, uh, let out a bit of the steam uh, while they actually leave the court, the pot to continue to boil. But the resistance uh, that they have met on the ground it shows them 
that that is not sufficient these days anymore. Well, but but but, but the thing harbors around the, let's forget about federation or independent. The things mm-hmm. the thing the things harbor around the initial demands of the teachers and the lawyers. If they can, if they can just fulfill those things, those demands without we even talking about federation, do you think we would be here today? Now, if they if they if they fulfills those demands from the beginning, we wouldn't have been here today. Right, and if they okay. did it today, but yeah, that they, they, they did it, they wouldn't have been here today. But again, I'm t- I'm uh, I'm I'm reminding you that you are you are dealing with a regime that thought uh, that it is not it, uh, that that would that that thinks that it is condescending for a government to negotiate with with its citizenry. Okay. And episode after episode, they adopted that high-handed ma- uh, method, and and it worked. But this time, it isn't working. And why isn't it working? It's not because some people are threatening secession from abroad. It is not because some people are forming uh, an interim government. It is not because the, no, it is not working because the population inside Cameroon has decided to resist. And if we can organize that population, because but by the way. It has it has resisted. The population has resisted without leadership. Without leadership. I don't it's, think it's, it is. Uh, I don't think that's uh, a, a right statement to make because uh, the resistance has had leadership. I mean, if you say they have, they don't have leadership, uh, what are the uh, Agobalas, Fontem Neighbor, Tasangs, uh, Bob Gas of the world? I mean. The, uh, 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 Chris, Chris where, where do you have where, where, where do you have leadership uh, where, where do you have absentee leadership in a, in, a, in, in, a, in a mass movement I'm not saying that I'm not saying that uh, at the, at, that at the inception of, of uh, this struggle uh, there weren't leaders I'm not saying that I'm not saying I'm not saying I'm not saying leaders Mm-hmm. I think even now there are leaders, uh, especially with the uh, formation of this uh, interim arrangement. Yeah, but people but, but are listening. Again, but, people, yeah, people are listening are to people are listening to them. I mean, you are trying to say there's no leadership is like trying to legitimate what they are trying to do. Of course, we know everything is temporary, right? Well, everything is temporary. But uh, again, what I'm what the, 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 I guess what, what I'm trying to what I'm what I'm saying is that. Uh, on on the ground inside Cameroon, the the, the population has been uh, following this uh, ghost town calls. They've been uh, following the calls to continue to boycott schools and so on and so forth. Okay, okay. and um, we uh, the, 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 we can go beyond beyond that and if you like organize them more in terms of the the, the resistance. And those, the sheer weight of that, the sheer weight of that resistance would be enough uh, to bring Mr. Bia, who initially uh, may be arrogant and insensitive and all of that, when he finds that the people really mean business, he will be forced to come uh, come around the table and negotiate and dialogue. Mm-hmm. All right, now let's it's talk about the ha- a- mm-hmm, yes. Mm-hmm. Let's talk about the ADF. Mm-hmm. Uh, how far have you gone in the uh, preparations towards uh, this uh, this uh, conference. I want you to understand that the, the approach of the of the Anglophone Dialogue Forum, which, by the way, uh, we, we 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 say we, we start every of our press releases, and so far we've had just three. But if you look at our press releases, every one of those press releases begins by saying what the what the ADF is. Right. And we have said that the ADF is a network. Of Anglophone uh, Cameroonian individuals and organizations who are committed to finding a lasting solution to the Anglophone problem through a frank and comprehensive national dialogue. Okay. Yes. Now, so, 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 uh, and 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 the thing is, it's it's op- it's open, and that anyone can join in. It's a network of people and organizations and so on. And we uh, started by floating the idea because we fundamentally believe that a, a, a dialogue is necessary and that a dialogue is possible uh, for, to give us the way forward in this matter. So we are in we are in early stages. We are in early stages 
the concept is speaking ground, and uh, we believe that there has to be uh, a national dialogue. That national dialogue has to be preceded by a preparatory conference of, of uh, Northwest and Southwest uh, sitting together, if you like, <laughs> some people will call it an AAC3, 